I'm currently packing for New Zealand and I'm not sure how much is too much. Can I bring two check bags? That sounds right. How many pairs of shoes should someone bring? Well, it could rain, so I'm gonna bring two rain jackets and then three blazers should be enough, I think. Just three pairs of jeans and then two pairs of slacks and then three other pairs of pants. Um, only, you know, only about seven dresses and um, 12 tops. I think it'll, I think we'll be fine. So, you know what, I should, I should put it on a sweatshirt. So until now, I've been supporting the Rugby World Cup from afar. This has meant some late nights in front of the TV here in the United States. But this week, I'm getting stuck in and heading all the way to New Zealand to watch all four quarterfinals from the stands. I'm setting my alarm nice and early before jumping on a flight from San Diego to Hawaii. That's about six and a half hours. Before a short stop followed by an even longer flight from Honolulu to Auckland, which is around 10 hours. I leave my house on Wednesday morning and don't land in Auckland until Thursday night. And then it's back-to-back -back quarterfinals on Saturday and Sunday. I can't wait. It's 5 a.m. Time to head to New Zealand. All right, we are ready to go. I guess I have to apply for like um, a visa or something to get into New Zealand. So I quickly ran back here. The guy wouldn't let me check in. I had to run back quickly, type in all my details, send payment. I was like, priority, please help me check in. All right, I have been approved. Let's do this thing. Guys, I almost dropped my boarding pass. <laughs> all right, so my first flight has been a little bit delayed. Um, and I don't have much of a layover for my second flight, but I think we'll be okay. So I'm gonna get a coffee because I deserve it. All right, so currently we are sitting on the tarmac because the whole baggage system in the whole Honolulu airport is down. None of the bags are getting through. My flight is in a half an hour. But since it's backed up for everybody, I guess everyone's just backed up right now. So I'm hanging out. I've already watched two movies. I've had about five cookies, two bags of pretzels, and I'm halfway through my book. Currently absolutely booking it through the airport to make our flight. Okay, we waited on the tarmac for about an hour and a half, but we made it. The flight has had to wait for us because there were like 10 of us on that flight. Who knows if our bags will make it? We'll see. Uh, we just getting strapped in for another 10 hour flight. Just a quick 10 hours to go. <laughs> All right, I finally arrived in New Zealand. It took a couple flights, a couple of delays. I thought I lost my bags, but we made it. I'm so excited to be here. I'm headed to the hotel now. I'm gonna get a good night's sleep in and I'm gonna see what tomorrow holds. Finally in bed, it was around 24 hours of travel. I got to the hotel room, I started unpacking, and it was kind of like Hermione's bag in Harry Potter. You know when she's like keeps pulling stuff out and she can like dig in and pull out like a whole car? That was pretty much me today. It took about half an hour to get everything done. But it's like two in the morning, I have to wake up around 8.30, get some stuff done. But for now, night night. Morning, it is my first day in New Zealand. The sun is shining. I'm so excited to take on the day. I just had breakfast. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling fresh. I'm feeling ready to go even though I only have four hours of sleep on my belt. But let's do this. We're on our way to Whangarei for the first round of the quarterfinals. I've settled into Auckland, but it's time to watch some rugby. We got Italy versus France up first and then New Zealand versus Wales. Come along. All right, we're on our way, but of course I got hungry. So I stopped to get meat pies, which are really big here in New Zealand. So I went with a minced meat. I think it's ground beef is what I would call it in America. Here we go. Pretty good. 
All right, everyone, we have made the Fangare and the sun is shining. Up next, France versus Italy. Who do you think is going to take it? Can Italy get past France? Hey. Got it! Good call! Alright, if you've watched the first episode, you've noticed I get very excited during rugby games and some curse words come out. Don't worry, my Oma has already yelled at me. I've been disowned for two days now. Um, but I will try to get better and I'll kind of try to keep my excitement to a minimum. Here we go. to how amazing this World Cup has been. Every game is a battle out there. France versus Italy, 10 to three at half. Let's see if Italy can pull this out. No surprise here, I got hungry again. But what's a rugby game without some beer and food? So everyone and their mother has been eating this like fried chicken. So of course I'm gonna get the fried chicken. Let's try it out and see if it lives up to the hype of what everyone's saying. Okay. It's extremely sweet, but I'm still gonna eat it. All right, so I'm here with Ra, a former Black Fern. What's it like having this here in New Zealand, in your home? Oh man, special, eh? Special. Special to have something like this, like look at all the um, kids around and all the families coming down to support something that I never, I haven't seen before and it's a game that we love as women and yeah. uh, just women's rugby in general, so it's huge. This is the future of rugby is out here watching this game. Look at, look at this, eh? Look at it. Look at all the people! I think every World Cup it seems to have gotten better and better. Is there anything about this one that just like stands out to you? Um. To be honest, I think uh, the poise are a massive standout because uh, that's part of my culture. Um, I think the support's been huge, eh? Yeah. Seeing, seeing teams come over with not just the bare minimum management, now they've got media guys and stuff like that, eh? No, I'm here. I don't even know why I'm here, honestly. No. <laughs> Look at you, they're flowing in you and, and low here. So yeah, 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 yeah. They must be on the way up, anyways. Mm -hmm. Alright, who's winning this World Cup? Oh my gosh, who is it? Black Pearls! Let's go, baby! All right, all right, okay, okay. <laughs> all right, France are into the semifinals. They beat Italy 39 to three. Next up, we have New Zealand versus Wales. It's clear, New Zealand is on absolute fire. 26 to three beating Wales right now. Tui, Hirani, Woodman, everybody's scoring. But I will say the Welsh fans are having fun. The energy with them is impeccable. So we'll see if the girls can keep pulling it out.
were truly no match for New Zealand. Final score, 55 to three, but don't worry, we're gonna do this all over again tomorrow. We got some big games coming up. We're here in Raitakuri for the second day of quarterfinals. Quarterfinals day one was action packed and I have no doubt today will be just the same. First up, England versus Australia and next up, USA versus Canada. It's raining, it's wet, but that's how rugby is supposed to be played. Let's do this. It's absolutely pouring out there. Whenever the players take a step, like a puddle of water just splashes up. It's pretty much a massive game of slip and slide out there. England's leading Australia 19 to five, but it's still a great game. Hopefully the sun will come out in the second half. Maybe. Spicier, but once you drench it in sauce, it's all you taste. Pretty good. I would consider myself a donut connoisseur, and when they said they had a bucket of donuts, I had to get one. They're hot, they're fresh, perfect for a game day snack. And England have done it. They're into the semifinals with a win against Australia, 41 to five. Next up, my girls, USA versus Canada. I've gotten my hair and makeup done. I'm ready for an interview with Spark Sport. I think we do have a chance because whenever it's Canada, you know, it's our rivalry, so we get out for it. So I think they have a fire under their belts. They seemed a little bit like angry. They're ready to go. to five. We scored first, but then Canada had two more tries. We're still working. I think we can still do this. It's halftime. Canada are up 12 to eight, but the USA are barely giving them an edge. Let's go USA! And that is it, Canada came out on top 32-11, but the USA fought so hard, I'm so proud of them. But Canada are on to the semifinals. Okay, I've traveled across an ocean. I've watched four games of rugby in two days and I've eaten my fair share of food. Our semifinalists are chosen for next weekend, but for now, I'm gonna stick around Auckland and see everything it has to offer. <laughs> 